struggles and mm -hmm. how you overcome them and mm -hmm. how to collaborate. That's and why, yes, that's why we wanted you to talk about some of those yeah. things. Well, it ends with my, my mm -hmm. principle of standing up and standing out. And standing out is very important when it comes to growing uh, you know, as a franchisee. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the franchisees, in the premium franchises, they got to mm. stand out. They can't okay. just blend in with everybody uh -huh. else. They mm -hmm. got to stand out. Yeah. Well, it's, it, that's about true in almost any profession. When you say uh, that uh, in order to be good, you got to be better than uh, everybody else. It's, you got to stand out. Stand out. Uh -huh. and you know what? That's still true f for us. Uh, it is. Uh huh. Uh, we're part of a minority group, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and, and females in many cases, mm -hmm. we have to. Stand, stand out, out. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, and which is a good thing uh -huh. because it brings out the best, best in you. Yeah. That's right. It, and, you have uh, to be better than yeah. everybody else because yeah. of whatever might be. And I, that is a great motivating factor. Oh, yeah. That really motivates. And you yeah. have to get down to the nitty gritty uh -huh. and work when you first open a franchise That's right. too. Because okay. it takes a while to build an organization. Uh -huh. It takes a while to have the, the capital. It takes it takes money to do those things. It uh -huh. means how much it costs to get in. Uh -huh. You know, it, it, it costs a whole bunch of money to get uh -huh. in. I mean, you know, when I got into McDonald's back here. You know, only cost like two hundred and six thousand dollars. What it was, and you know, today you're talking about yeah, that's what back, back in ninety six. That was that's thirty <laughs> almost thirty five years. And ago. that was yeah. two hundred six thousand dollars at then, that time. Thirty yeah. yeah okay. And that wasn't one of the expensive ones. Okay. But see, that's just the beginning because you you, you have to have backup capital and all mm -hmm. that. You 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 can't <laughs> you can't go and undercapitalize. Mm -hmm. And you another thing, you can't build wealth. On borrowed money. Okay. So you. you okay. Yeah, so, uh -huh. That's so, right. Okay. So debt has to be to a minimum. Mm. But it's it's key for anybody who want to go into franchise to know how to select a franchise. Mm. And this, this this is an interesting book here. Mm. It's called The Complete Idiot Guide yeah, for Franchise. Mm. Okay. It's by a gentleman by the name of uh, James Amos. Mm -hmm. uh, he's the one that uh, made uh, mailbox etc. Uh, put them on the map. Okay. And, and mm -hmm. ended up I think selling it to UPS. And he talks about all the franchises and what mm -hmm. to expect and mm -hmm. what uh, and, and what not to expect and that kind mm -hmm. of thing is, uh, which is very good for people mm -hmm. trying to make a decision. Mm -hmm. It is, it's very simple too in mm -hmm. language where people can understand mm -hmm. it. But uh, most franchises are, are very basic, mm -hmm. you know, and some of them are just basic, nitty gritty, mm -hmm. working hard, taking care of customers, mm -hmm. and there's a customer contact level. In everything we do. Okay. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. so my recommendation mm -hmm. uh, is for anybody okay. that wants to get in a franchise to be prepared okay. to work hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And one thing I, I need to mention here that mm -hmm. uh, when you talk about establishing franchises, okay. you know, uh, Experience is required to establish a franchise as a franchise are. Okay. Now, uh -huh. but uh, a minimum amount of experience is required. Just good old common sense Since, uh -huh. and doing what you in the kind of work you enjoy doing uh -huh. and try to fit that to a franchise to become a franchisee. Mm -hmm. And if the system is done well, uh -huh. and you follow that system and use good common sense. Okay. And it's what you enjoy doing. And you're good with people. That's it. Uh huh. Yeah. It's no. It's no position for yeah. a loner. It's no, no uh, occupation for a loner. Huh? I don't think so. Uh -huh. I mean, you, you may have some franchises that require, uh -huh. you know, a couple employees or something. Uh -huh. but, uh -huh. uh, but, but it's uh, a it, it's a people-oriented it, kind of thing. You got to bring those people into it. It's the, a people-oriented kind uh -huh. of thing because you got you got to work with the franchise. Uh -huh. Franchise uh -huh. on franchise. You got to work together. Uh -huh. you know? And you got to work with other franchises. Uh -huh. You know. And uh, another area too is. Um, is uh, even there's there's a minimal amount of it, but mm. there, there's some work required with uh, with vendors too. Okay. With mm -hmm. suppliers. I mean that's uh, that that's very important. You mm -hmm. know? And so it it really gives you uh, a piece of all aspects mm -hmm. of business, but you got somebody there. Mm -hmm. To help you with it. Okay. That's and the most important uh -huh. thing. About Somebody it. help yeah. you put it together. You've right. got all the pieces yeah. out there, but unless you right. understand how yeah. the pieces interrelate and how they work together, then you're going to have a difficult time. Right. That's that, exactly. And, right. And, and, and of course, during this last minute, uh, uh, Mr. Jones, let me uh, thank you for coming by and giving us that excellent information. As a matter of fact, that's exactly what we wanted because we do know that uh, there are some interests in people becoming involved in minority franchises and et cetera. And I think that if they are uh, able to uh, understand what we're saying here and what you're saying here today, then they'll have a better idea. 
And uh, I was surprised in terms of uh, how much money it actually takes to become involved in uh, such an activity. And you said in the 1960s, you were talking about $200,000, and it's almost, uh, I would imagine, almost prohibitive <laughs> for any one individual to think about becoming, and certainly some of the larger ones, like uh, the one that you started with, McDonald's. I mean, it's, you have to have a group of individuals, I would imagine, to get together. And it's do, not do. a poor man's business. It's not a poor man's <laughs> <laughs> Very good. But I, I, I certainly appreciate yeah. that, and I, th I, I, I like what you gave us. Yeah. I like the information that you gave us. And, and, of course, let me encourage our audience to uh, tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you, and good morning.